Roland and now we're taking a quick look at the Honor View 10. So this is the device that just came out in China as the V10. It's now launching in Europe. For Germany it's got a recommended retail pricing of 499 uh, euros, which means you get a pretty decent device for about 300 euros less than you would pay for a Mate 10 Pro, which is pretty much the same device except for a couple of differences which I'm just gonna tell you right now. So we have an 18 by nine aspect ratio on here, full HD plus resolution at 2160 by 1080. And it also runs an LCD panel, which means it has a bit more sharpness because the OLED panel on the Mate 10 Pro is certainly using a pentile matrix and this one just has a standard RGB matrix. So it should be a bit more crisp than the panel that is on the Mate 10 Pro. Another difference is the fingerprint sensor which sits on the bottom of the front on the View 10. So they've moved it from the back to the front or they are keeping it on the front in this case. Also you can see that the screen has slightly rounded corners. It attracts a bunch of fingerprints but there is a screen protector on here and also you can see that there is this tiny little inner black bezel around the screen on the View 10 here. Um, overall, it looks pretty sleek. It, I mean, the whole form factor fits nicely in the hand and it should be decently sized at least compared to older models that had much wider um, uh, bezels in this case. And uh, let's talk about the insides. So you get a Karen 970 SoC that runs four ARM Cortex A53 cores at uh, 1.8 gigahertz and another four ARM Cortex A73 cores at up to 2.36 gigahertz plus a Mali G72 graphics core and the NPU, so that's the neural processing unit that's also on the um, Mate 10 Pro, for example, which allows you to do a bunch of different things using KI or uh, artificial intelligence in this case. And they're only using it for the camera so far and a bunch of other things, for example, the Microsoft Translator app, which has been updated using that NPU. It runs Android 8.0, including the uh, Honor's or Huawei's own uh, EMUI 8.0 in this case. Seems to be pretty uh, flexible. It has a ton of customizations. So as you can see, it looks a bit Apple-ish. Um, but overall, it's a pretty nice UI depending on if you like uh, stock UIs on Android or if you also can deal with a manufacturer's interface. Um, there's six gigabytes of RAM in this version and there's also 128 gigabytes of flash storage in here. I don't know if that is UFS flash. We'll try to find out about that later on. Um, so for $4.99, again, you get six gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigs of flash storage. Plus you get a 13 megapixel camera up here on the front, right next to the earpiece. Right next to that are a bunch of sensors. As you can see, it has this 2.5D glass cover on the front, plus that um, screen protector I was talking about. Down here is the fingerprint. Uh, rear, which is not covered under glass. I think there is a glass inlay, but it's not covered under the front glass. Going over to the sides, you can see that this thing is just uh, 6.7 or 97 millimeters thick, and that makes it a pretty thin device compared to other devices, especially when talking about the battery, which is a 3750 milliamp hour battery, which still should get you through the day. It's just 250 milliamps less than on the Mate 10 Pro, for example. Up here is your dual nano SIM slot, of which you can use one slot for uh, storage extension, which is a thing that the Mate 10 Pro does not have. On the bottom is another thing that the Mate 10 Pro does not have is the uh, three and a half millimeter headset jack plus a USB type C port and your single speaker on this device. And on the back, another difference is the metal cover that is on here or the casing in the unibody design that they're using here, which is another difference because my Mate 10 Pro actually has this highly shiny glass cover which attracts a ton of fingerprints and as you can see the camera angles are also a bit different. The camera on the back of the uh, Honor View 10 is using a 20 and a 10, 16 megapixel camera which is also another difference compared to the Mate 10 Pro. They're overlaying the black and white image that the 20 megapixel uh, sensor does um, with the color information from the 16 megapixel sensor, which should work out for higher contrast and better color reproduction, at least that's what Honor or Huawei are saying. There is no optical image stabilization on this device as far as I know. There is also a dual LED flash and as you can see you have these antenna bands that are pretty, pretty visible on this blue unit that I have right here. Um, but it could also just be the light because it's not pretty, uh, not very ideal 
over here. On the right side, you get the fingerprint, uh, the finger, just the power button basically, which has a pretty nice click point to it. I mean, it feels very nice on here. And also your volume rocker, which also clicks in very nicely, it should give you pretty much a decent feedback. Um, yeah, that should be pretty much it about those two devices. Let me just quickly unlock this again and try and think about different uh, other features that there are. I don't think I can remember any. It is overall a pretty nicely equipped device. Six and 128 gigabytes of storage or RAM in here for 499 is definitely a price that would give devices from, for example, uh, OnePlus a run for its money, depending on what kind of flash storage is in here. So if you're in the market for a device that is not a OnePlus 5T, for example, but is pretty nicely equipped and you don't want to pay the money of a Mate 10 Pro, you can just save 300 bucks and get the Honor View 10 or a V10 as it's called in China.